Hi there, this is Tansina and you are watching United News of Bangladesh channel and I am here with Redmi K20 Pro full review. Redmi, which is a sub-brand of Xiaomi, has recently launched Redmi K20 Pro, which might be the cheapest flagship alternative or it could be OnePlus killer. For bringing affordable smartphones, Xiaomi has already gained popularity across the globe. In just 9 years, Xiaomi is listed on Fortune's Global 500 in the category of Internet Services and Retailing for the first time ever. I will share the pros and cons so that you can decide whether it's right for you or not. And I have to say I'm impressed with this phone because it gets a lot of things right. First, let's talk about the pros. The first thing I like about the phone is the build quality which is solid. In terms of build quality, they have done a very good job and it's really good. It feels like a premium smartphone. This is powered by Snapdragon 855 with up to 8GB of RAM and up to 256GB of storage. It runs Android Pie and is powered by 4000mAh battery with supports for 27 first charging. In the box, you will find 18W charger. If you are not much into gaming, the phone will easily last for over 30 hours. It takes a little more than 1 hour to get fully charged. It's a dual SIM smartphone. It has 3.5mm audio jack. It's available in three colors, carbon black, glacier blue and flame red. But I personally prefer the black variant. The color is sort of dancing down the side. At the back, Xiaomi has included a pattern design which changes depending on the angle of the light. It's something unique. The flame red variant, it looks hot. Now coming to the screen, here also they did not compromise. To me, this is the best display in any mid-range phone. It is also the first phone from Xiaomi to have an AMOLED display, which will give you a stunning visual experience every time you unlock your phone. There are no interruptions, no notches and no cutouts. The device comes with a 6.39 inch Full HD Plus screen. Despite being a big smartphone, it is compact and easy to hold. Xiaomi claims the device to be among the lightest flagship weighing 191 grams. The Corning Gorilla Glass 5 used on the front and back of the smartphone is four times stronger than its predecessor. The Redmi K20 Pro also has an in-display fingerprint sensor and it also works every time. The phone supports face unlock, but since Redmi had to go with a pop-up camera to make this all-screen design work, you need to swipe up on the display for face unlock and it's a little bit of delay when you press it and I expect that to change soon though. The K20 Pro has a 20 megapixel pop-up front camera, which the company says it has been tested 300,000 times and it has sapphire glass protection, so if some dust gets in, that shouldn't be able to scratch the glass as it pops in and out. The pop-up camera automatically retracts to avoid damages in case you happen to drop the phone while clicking image. It has emergency drop protection and downward pressure detection. The pop-up can be customized with six sounds and light effects. On top of the camera there is a light so it acts as a sort of notification LED so you can see if you are plugged in and charging. Let's see how good the camera is. It comes with a triple lens setup on the back. The 48 megapixel primary camera features a Sony IMX586 sensor for crystal clear pictures. The 13 megapixel rear camera allows you to capture ultra wide portraits with ease. The third 8 megapixel telephoto camera allows you to zoom effortlessly when you need to capture a subject far away. Triple camera zoom with 2 times optical zoom and 10 times digital zoom. The rear camera setup has autofocus. For selfies, the device offers a 20 megapixel camera, which gives decent images. It supports 4K video recording at 60 FPS. Yes, you can shoot video with ultra wide camera. It can deliver great low light shots along with good daylight images. The Redmi K20 Pro even shoot 960 FPS slow motion. It's not high resolution, but that's still pretty cool. Overall, the image quality is not bad. If you turn on night mode, you got some of your sharpness back and dynamic range actually improves. 
There is not really much to complain about, but unfortunately it doesn't come with micro SD card. It doesn't have water resistant and wireless charging facility. The new Redmi K20 series is a bold step by Xiaomi in an attempt to enter the affordable flagship smartphone segment. To summarize, I would say, the Redmi K20 Pro justifies the flagship title with its unmatched specs. The phone has been launched in China and then in India and now it's also available in Bangladesh. You can get Redmi K20 Pro at 49,999 taka in Bangladesh. It is still the cheapest phone with the Snapdragon 855 chip. And I would say it's a great device which has all the features that one desires to have in mid-range.